something that you remember that we did at one of our previous concerts here at Cynthia and Ernie's, and you would like to yell it out. If we knew it then, chances are we still do. So feel free. Uh, but as fast as I'm doing, I will say that I think next what we will do is, yes, it's time for some fast and fancy picking from Fats Kaplan, as if he hasn't already done that. This is one of the songs. I had a band in New York City many years ago called Christy Rose and the Midnight Walkers. And we were on Rounder, and we were on Rounder in the States and in Europe, and actually did quite well in, in Europe, including this song was a hit in Finland. <laughs> but you're like, yeah, right, who's going to verify this? <laughs> Steve, no, Steve here gave this uh, to me for, for Christmas, and this is the second album I ever did. There I am on the cover. Uh, Dashing, isn't he? The second album. What was that? What? What was that? When? It's when or what? When? When? It was, uh, in, it was the, in the 70s. Well, I was 19 years old, and so it was in the early 70s, and uh, this, I did not own a copy of this on vinyl until tonight. What's the title? It's called it's Roy Bookbinder, Ragtime Millionaire, featuring Fats Kaplan. And Roy Bookbinder was a, a country blues guitar player. And still is. He said yeah. it still still is. he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. We just saw him. That's actually Roy. Actually, Roy is still out there doing yeah. it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we we talked, but it, it was my first real professional. Wow. I mean, I played the job. I played with a few other. You know, string band, hippie string bands and stuff like that. But I you were hippies back then? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was right up there with them. And, uh, but I went out on the road at seventeen. Uh, and, uh, oh and that cool. was the second record I, I did and uh, seventeen. And now I own a copy of it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So not going back quite that far, but in the 1980s, the late 80s, I had a band called the Midnight Walkers, and this is a song that I wrote for them, and it is called Darling. Last night we didn't just make love, we made history hit. <laughs> Woke up this morning, read the paper, we're on the front page. I hear from old killer, and I tell the old page, read the facts behind the headlines, please turn Three. Last night we did just make love a story. Not long ago I couldn't even get the time of day. I could get rich, I could get famous, could get blown away. Was it that you done that made it such a change in me? Last night we did just make love. Actually, getting over the cold. Ken. 
<laughs> now all the people on the street, they want my autograph. And there are some who think it may become my on a Wednesday. I just don't think that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, what do you think about the noise? The noise. The noise. Oh, yeah. Oh, and not only that, but then when they said, okay, then I actually had prerequisites. I did, I said, but now, I don't want this, if we do this, and it would be really great, but it doesn't mean we can't come at Christmas. <laughs> If I do, if it does, then I, I don't want it. You know? <laughs> that's true. And that's true. So anyway, um, I think maybe this next song we did do when we came in July, because I feel like Cynthia maybe responded to this. This this is not a song that we wrote. This is a song that was written by a friend of ours. Her name is Amy Allison. She's actually Mose Allison's daughter. And she just writes these very wonderful, concise lyrics. On our Polk Country CD, there's a, a song called Cheater's World that she wrote. But this is a song she wrote called Family. Father and mother Sister and brother There ain't no other